Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from Western Kentucky and we are back to continue our playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within featuring the Long War mod and we have in front of us a light roadway mission in Houston that we're heading out on and as you will soon see we don't have the most complete barracks in the world and the way you can tell that <laughs> is the the very first soldier I'm bringing out on this light mission is PFC name here, your name here. <laughs> We're actually taking a rookie out. Since it's a light mission, I figured I'd fill out the squad with a rookie. Um, we got so many fatigues and so many <coughs> excuse me, injuries going on right now, I decided to put in a little placeholder. So if he survives the mission and gets promoted somehow, uh, your name here, so uh, we'll, we'll be giving them a new name. If you want that new name, just let me know. Uh, so we have, besides the rookie, uh, Peter Van Dorn, the general, as long as our infantrymen. Uh, we have Arthur Ash. He is Arthur Ace Ash, as long as our rocketeer. Um, we got Winston Bulldog Churchill along as our assault, and he is up for a promotion. And uh, he's kind of got that anti-exalt build, and of course, has he been available for exalt missions lately? Uh, that's a big fat no. <laughs> but we're going to build him uh, a little more <laughs> with that use in mind, maybe sometime down the road uh, with the Ranger promotion. Uh, just giving him a, against Utah, uh, uh, exalt, excuse me, more utility with both the shotgun and the pistol. So that's the choice there. Uh, we got after that Jeffrey Goldfish Drag. Uh, we gave him being a roadway mission, we went a little different. We actually went away from laser just to give him some extra range uh, with the marksman's rifle. And the reason being, guess what? I have a no sniper available with Andy Gibbon out on big time medical leave. Uh, trying to recuperate it brings me down a little on the light side with snipers and I'm not since this is even though it's a roadway mission and I really sh probably should have a sniper I didn't want for a light mission to fatigue and make anybody get out of action longer than necessary so I modified our team a little bit and one thing I did was uh, the marksman's rifle and you'll see with our gunner uh, we have the Gatling laser, that's next. Uh, Ronaldo, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7 is my gunner with a not super mobile Gatling gun. And finally, let's get down to the last couple. We got Dylan Crusher along. Now he actually is my replacement uh, for Odelia on my next Exalt mission, but that's the next scan even for that is uh, a good six, seven days away, so fatigue shouldn't be an issue. The only thing that will make things awkward is if he uh, takes some damage. Now he doesn't have the close up, um, you know, shotgun style. He just has a regular laser rifle. Um, so he doesn't have a need to get quite as close. I still got Churchill to do that. Um, so hopefully we can keep and prevent Dylan Crusher, big old boomer, getting um, from getting injured. So the next Exalt mission, he'll be able to fill his slot there. We got uh, uh, Tamir Shalom Busti along as our engineer. He is a support style engineer and actually he has an, a, a promotion uh, coming up here. He's got all his typical support kind of uh, perks and to give him a little extra utility and I have no problem having any extra suppression on a mission especially as you may have noticed I do not have a medics none of my officer medics were available and I was not about to double fatigue what that tells me and I've, I've looked at it a couple times but we got to get that next officer perk in the officer training school I think what is it company officers is that the the one it's called because that'll give me a couple more lower level 
uh, officers that I can then recruit along with the next level up. I'm not as concerned about the next level up of officer as, it, as I am with the initial promotion so we can get some more uh, reduction on this fatigue time because it's starting to kill us now, especially now that we've got a few extra wounds in our back pocket. So um, that's where we are here and we're going to take suppression for Tamir. So uh, while we just came out of a nice mission, we got some nice supplies. Uh, we are still not out of the woods in our little fatigue, wound, injury spiral. So we got to have a nice mission here to try climbing back out of that. At least that's my hope. Um, I think that's all the quirks to this mission. Uh, with some with the damaged laser rifle, uh, good old PFC, put your name here, uh, does not have a laser gun. Uh, sorry, but that's uh, the lot of a rookie, so you gotta find a way to survive without all the special gear. <laughs> okay, let's get in there and see what kind of roadway map we are dealing with. Houston, Get here we come. Ah. The AO is within the continental United States. The alien abductions are becoming more brazen every day. We've got reports coming in of attacks in broad daylight. We're the only ones who can respond to this threat, so we should get down there. Okay. Bradford Operation Dark Pier, Pyre, however you want to use the pronunciation on that one. Um... Sure, this is a roadway map we haven't seen in a hefty bit of time. So uh, let's get in here and see where our start location is. It can make a huge difference. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Kind of more of a standard start. We, this is the kind of the L-shaped roadway. We go down here into the back, and then it goes up on a rise off to the right. Um, it is a nice one where a sniper would have been nice. We're going to have to make do with our, our modified long-range weapons and uh, long-range abilities. Uh, one of those I'm going to do is... Yeah, we don't want to get you too close, Jeffrey, with that marksman's rifle uh, because it loses range, it loses effectiveness at close range. But we are going to have you do your job on this first move, and that is move up, scout out what we're dealing with right here. So let's move up to this vehicle right here. <laughs> Quick activation. It's a pod of uh, strong muton. And a couple floaters. The floaters don't look particularly strong, but the muton seems a little heftier than the average muton. So um, I don't think Jeffrey. You're, oh well, you have a pretty dang good shot on uh, this guy right here. So that's going to be your job. And I think if you can take out that floater, we got enough other folk in our team that we can work on that muton next. So help us out, Jeffrey. Thin this out. Nice hit. We're used to the damage on the laser rifles, um, but that's decent damage anyway. Uh, one tick left on that floater. I think I'm still going to, with everybody else, start concentrating on the Muton. Um, I can always do a little run and gun, get up close here with Winston Churchill and uh, hope if, if we do put some hurt on the muton here, that we can follow it up. And you'll notice I did not bring an arc thrower with this uh, makeshift squad here. I did not feel. <laughs> Besides, I've got my alien grenade that I've been working hard for uh, in my back pocket now being developed. Let's see. We should have a nice hit here, but how much damage can we do? If we get a crit, we can do some amazing damage. Yeah, 
we get our max. I think that was the max regular damage we had available. In fact, I am going to see. Um, it's probably not going to be great odds for a rookie. I can't really get him in great position over here uh, with those crates in the way. To, to I don't know if that would quite be a flank, and it sure would have my rookie standing out in the open to get his first kill. So we're going to play a little more conservative. Go. The rookie's going to have a crappy old shot. Ooh, maybe we try to get your first kill over here, Mr. Rookie Man. Uh, your name here. Let's see if you can finish off for a kill here. This floater over here, 79% for a rookie. That's about as good as we're going to get. Ah, as good as we're going to get is not good enough. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, now we can move up here, obviously. We want to make sure we do a number on that Muton, though. We want to get rid of he, he needs to go away. Um, so let's see who we can get over here to make him go away. Uh, looks like we have a shot from here uh, with Peter Van Dorn. We'll see if we can knock you or knock that Muton out out of the water. Uh, we also have run and gun available with Dylan Crusher. Uh, that would definitely get us a lot closer. In fact, Dylan, I may just do that run and gun with you to get the flank on the Muton because he's the thorn in my side that I don't have any reliable way to kill. So we're going to burn both my run and guns here early, <laughs> early on in the mission. We'll hope that it's a light mission that will settle down after this point. It's only 67%, so I'm not thrilled about that, Dylan. Come on now. Let's connect. <laughs> oh, so that's the way it's going to be. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, Peter Van Dorn, we're going to bring you right here, and we're going to do some more work on, on the Muton. It's not looking at... Oh, God. It's, it's horrible odds. Horrible, horrible, horrible odds. Um, let's see, do we have a grenade available? We got flashbangs, we got smoke, we have a grenade, but that would put uh, Mr. Winston Churchill in a bit of a spot. Um, but I doubt, I think that may be the route I gotta go, is see if we can place an AT grenade, it'll set that car afire, uh, but we can get the AT grenade in such a spot that hopefully, Hopefully, I repeat, hopefully it will take down the Muton. Yeah, because if I get any closer, I pick up Winston Churchill, so that's about as close as I can get. Will it do enough damage? Up. How about no damage? <laughs> okay, we're getting to a point where we are being challenged. Big time. kind of a shot do we have here? All we can do is lock down with suppression there. Um, I think we need to forego a couple floater corpses. What kind of scatter are we going to pick up back here? Not great scatter, but I need to, Firing since rocket. I can't take care of business with the Muton, I got to take care of business over here and take away that threat and uh, get to get busy with the Muton. What he's going to do is, unfortunately, I, in hindsight, knowing everybody was going to miss, because that's going to put a pop on Winston Churchill now from that close-range Muton, and, or in his injured state, if he's able to throw a grenade, that wouldn't be good either. But i got to reduce his aim even further. Oh, I needed to keep... I moved him. Oh, no. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Peter Van Dorn. We still have a... A whooping 23% shot ahead of us. <laughs> I think we got to throw a flashbang because I don't think 23 is going to connect. We got to do whatever we can to reduce his shot against Winston Churchill. We got to hope red fog and a flashbang is going to help us out on this one. <laughs> oh, run away! Why don't you be a Freddy cat muton and run away? No, you're just gonna sit there? You're gonna shoot? You're gonna shoot? <laughs> He's gonna play the runaway game. <laughs> I'm not, we got lucky. 
<laughs> all our icky, lousy, horrible shots. And I heard some alien noise back there. And I'm going to kick myself. Are we going to be up against a cyber disc? That is, I'm, I'm in, in all this range, uh, rain and roaring uh, and noise that I'm hearing, I didn't get a clear pickup of that alien noise in the background. It was either another muton or could it have been? Did I hear a tick of a cyber disc? I don't know. Uh, but we do have a, a shot that should easily take care of the muton now. At last. Did that take a little longer than we expected, folks? <laughs> yes, it did. Now, I'm almost thinking this is not a bad spot to have a marksman uh, kind of close. But uh, the rest of the enemies aren't, you know, if we activate, they're, they're not going to be right up on top of me. So a marksman rifle can work right here. So, Jeffrey, let's on once again scout you forward, see if you can do that magic activation. Not yet. So that gives us a little time to place everybody else out here, hopefully in positions that'll help us out. Now, since this car has since exploded, um... We don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm going to put Cristiano Ronaldo and your Gatling gun. We might as well dash you, even though there's a chance to activate. Uh, just so next turn you're all set with your longer range Gatling laser. And yeah, light missions. I don't panic just as, as quite as much about potential activations. Uh, Peter Van Dorn, let's get you up near the front also. Uh, we're doing a lot of little double dash, getting people in place, but we should be better positioned for coming up. Dylan, I'm fine moving you forward a bit too. In fact, we'll even put you here with your here longer range, even though we can have somebody on Overwatch at least. Where can the rookie make it to? Where can we bring a rookie? How about a rookie right over here? The rookie with the deep, deep voice. <laughs> Uh, that could be changed. We can definitely alter any character attributes if you decide that's who you're going to be. If we can actually get him to hit so he, he can get promoted. Uh, and finally, we got Tamir. He's support grenade, so we're going to keep him in a supporting position right position. here. And uh, let's overwatch with you, Tamir. We will overwatch with you, Jeffrey. Scanning. And uh, now we can get our rocket up a little closer. I'm almost thinking we need to waste a dash. You won't be. Uh, yes, sir. Yep, you won't be steady, but we got to get you closer so the rocket will even have range to uh, be effective. Overwatch. Overwatch. And there goes the other car. Now we don't have to worry about exploding cars, at least on our end over here. Yeah, I thought I heard a cyber disc. So we definitely got to get, before we push forward on this activation, we definitely got to get our rocket steadied and have him steadied as we move forward. And he can't get up to the next line of cover, which is where I want him. So that means we're going to have one turn here where we do not push forward uh, because I do not want to activate that cyber disc with an unsteadied rocket. So Arthur Ash get you in position. Um, thinking we may push uh, you right here, Mr. Rookie Man. Moving out. Hopefully that one hex more was not enough to activate that one. I would have kicked myself in the rear end. <laughs> it was a, it was a definite possibility though uh, if that had activated. Um, Dylan, I think I'm gonna put you at Time this point move. right here. For a little overwatch and then we'll keep my support grenade in the back if we need to throw some smoke or help out in some fashion I think we're gonna keep everybody else in the hold the line positions we're in right now uh, so let's overwatch over uh, reload how about we reload that shotgun Good to go. Um, I'm thinking uh, we'll, we we're might as well reload go. any ammo we use. We're going to have enough overwatch from everybody else, I believe. Eyes on the target. Um, and reload. so reload those that can reload just. So we're ready if we should activate or if they should wander into us. So I'm hearing the floaters most definitely. There. And now... 
So kind of getting a sense that the floaters are up the hill on the roadway up above and kind of getting the sense the cyber disc is on the lower end over here. Um, I'm wondering if we can, of course there's n total lack of cover by going up high over here. Couldn't they have built a railing? Oh, I guess it's a billboard so they want things as see-through as possible. <laughs> I said couldn't they have built a better railing <laughs> to provide some cover. All right, now that we've got a we're going to have ourselves a steadied rocket. In fact, I think I'm going to take this one turn. Sorry, guys. I know you want me to push forward. Let's quick go through and, uh, Aye, aye. Aye, aye. And, uh, we will steady that also. Now we're ready to push forward. Oh, no, they activated for us. Look at that. See if any of our Overwatch, uh, oh, our highly effective Overwatch can do some damage. That's because he's up so high. Now come down lower. Are we, are we go, Van Dorn. Oh, clutch. Now we got two back-facing or out of range, out of vision. So I, get, I think uh, we got to set the Overwatch traps again for all our guys. Um, and have them move towards us next turn. I think we're in that same boat one more time. So let's steady you with the marksman's rifle. Let's steady you, Arthur Ashe, in case the cyber disc wanders in, and let's overwatch oh, with pretty much everybody yeah, else. Nice on the target. I'm wondering, though, for Dylan, I might want to move you over here. Um, no, we'll move the rookie over there. Roger that. And uh, I just not, since those floaters are movable, you're very flankable in that poten potential position. So let's now. just move you to the back. Unflankable position. Still the same crappy half cover, but let's overwatch you. See if we can stop these guys from moving forward. Um, now, obviously, I have two smoke available, but I got so many people in half cover. I'm going to hold off on the smoke, but we're definitely going to pop it, depending on what happens. Uh, well, maybe now is the time to do it to protect against those floaters, and we'll do it against the side. They're more, uh, more closer to these guys. Please ignore my grammar. Uh, let's smoke over here. Smoke Just up. in case uh, we can prevent a lucky floater shot. Of course, I have other half-cover dudes way over here on the left. <laughs> I could always throw my second smoke, but God, I hate to just waste it. Let's see how they move. Do the floaters get reckless? Do they charge us? Do they advance? Or do they go against my unsmoked and more vulnerable guys over here. Oh, they're staying up high. Talk about a high. Oh, he gets his first hit. The rookie can hit. Look at that. Now if we could only get him his first kill. Yeah, but Ronaldo has something to say about that. <laughs> CR7 takes care of that threat. And looks like we have one more floater left out there. One more floater left out there. I don't hear the cyber disc this last turn, so maybe he's kind of waiting to see what happens here. Um, okay, if the next floater doesn't charge this next turn, we're going to start pushing forward a little more on our own. Cyber disc be damned, right? We have eyes on the target. I'm on it. Okay, cyber disc be damned. <laughs> cyber disc now has a floater friend <laughs> to help him out. Now we don't have great cover to move forward to. Um, I'm thinking, Dylan, you can make it this far, so let's push you this far and see if Ooh, that little bit position. forward gives us more eyes. Not yet. Not yet. Um, hmm. I'm thinking we're going to push you forward a little bit, Jeffrey, and see what you can see for us down here. 
nothing yet. So we might as well push up to this little bit farther forward. I'm thinking uh, Peter Van Dorn. Uh, it's very flankable if that guy decides to push forward. I don't want that sideways cover. So we're going to have to Approaching move forward now. step by step so we can keep for Yeah, we, so we, we'll be able to move up to that little low wall after this with these guys is what it looks like. Um, do I dare come out here to the side of this vehicle to take a little closer peek over here? Well, we're going to do it. Nothing. So the cyber disc must be all the way in the back. At least that's where I'm thinking the sound came from. I don't believe I heard it up the high part of the road. Um, I hope he's not up in the high part of the road. Last thing you need to do to give a cyber disc is elevation <laughs> advantages. Uh, let's just uh, call this a round. Uh, we're going to steady that marksman rifle. We're going to steady our rocket and uh, overwatch with the rest. We have eyes on the target. Move to Overwatch. On Overwatch. And I think we can move you a little farther forward, Tamir. Put you on Overwatch also. Ooh, that's, yeah, I think that's a cyber sound back there. I'm almost, oh no, it was not. It was something else very quiet back there. And he came from on high. And we are not hitting some Overwatch, which would be nice. Uh, but he is now activated, and he probably will be going on Overwatch. Can we get any kind of hits? Little dinky dinky doos. So, it looks like a Seeker in the background. I'm seeing some Seekers back there. Well, we definitely hit on a couple. Oh, now the floater gets brave coming forward. Is he going to have a shot? Well, it looks like the first thing we have to do, and that is shred the Cyber Disc. Shred the freaking cyber disc right here. We're gonna center on the cyber disc. Now I saw a, a floater and some so what I what I thought was would be support units for the cyber disc, um, but I don't think they're attached to the cyber disc because they didn't move forward. I could kind of see them through the fog of war in the background. I saw some seekers uh, and I, maybe a drone, but I at least for sure saw seekers. So I think what we're gonna do is we are going to shoot our shredder rocket right here. It may end up picking up. It's less than one tile scatter, so we should be pretty assured of doing some shredder damage here. So let's fire away. Won't even know what hit him. Do it, Arthur Ashe. Okay, we want to damage and make him more vulnerable. Mr. Mr. Cyber Disker. Um... What I may do, 64%, it's only 39%, so I guess the cyber disc is considered more grounded, even though he's pretty much at the same elevation, it's just the ground underneath him is closer, so it becomes a better shot. Is that the way it works? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's find out. We got a 76. Uh, obviously, my priority is the cyber disc, and I'm looking like I'm going to be ammo, uh, ammo starved here on this one. But let's see if we can connect on a few of these hits. Dylan, come on, we need a shot. Good, nice five more damage. Out. Uh, what kind of range are you in? 82, I like an 82%. Tamir, we're not going to ask you to uh, lay some smoke this turn. We're going to ask you to take care of the threat the old-fashioned way with a shot. 82%, I like the odds on that. I do have someone else available for suppression if all else fails. Ooh, look at that. Damage resistance. I have a running gunner available should that need arise. Now I can get a 100% shot. What kind of damage can I do with a marksman's rifle? We're about to find out. Let's see if you can connect and do it. Oof. Boy, that damage resistance is killing us. It is killing us. Um, I may look at foregoing suppression. Who else do I have available for shots? We got hollow targeted on that thing, so our percentages are going up. I should have thought about doing that shot first to get the hollow targeting going, but the percentages were already good. But boy, I should have could have ensured that they were Ooh, perfect, perfect though, but let's see, 93%. Let's see if you can finish him off. Peter Van Dorn, counting on your general knowledge. There we go. Trigger. 
drinks are on me. I think that's it. Now I saw. Okay, so they are active in the background, or at least I'm seeing the hit points all of a sudden on the Seeker. If they were tied together as a pod, they sure didn't move forward. Uh, who do I have now? Oh, laser rifle. I think uh, I could shoot the pistol on you, but I think it's more important to have somebody Weapons reloaded hot. since we're hurting on the ammo. It's only 39% shot there. All right, Mr. Rookie Man. <laughs> I don't think you're my best option. Let's kind of peek around, scatter around, and see who might have the best shot for us. Uh, not great at your range, Winston. So I'm thinking I'm going to bring you forward to this corner cover. If they weren't activated already, there's a very good chance by moving you forward we will become activated with those guys in the back. So I don't know if that's what I want to do. Uh, so maybe what I do is uh, lock you down with some suppression. It's like, what the heck? Why don't we... Uh Take that shot, all of a sudden it's 49%, which is better than it was. So now all of a sudden I feel at least worth taking the shot. It's only an 8% crit chance. Oh, we got ourselves a kill. Trooper name here, your name here, uh, has come through for us. How about that? Um, and all we got left is you, Churchill. Let's overwatch and see how these others approach us. So it's a drone, and it looks like these guys were activated and were part of the group. We got a stealth mode, but <laughs> guess what we got over here with Jeffrey? We got ourselves a battle scanner, and we're going to pop it right in the midst of us. Let's figure out who he's going to be charging for, see if we can pick up that seeker. Let's have a peek. Wow. So is he out of sight of that thing? Wow, wow, wow. So he's, he could, could he be next to anybody already? I don't think he could, he could have traveled that far. I really don't think he could have traveled that far. Uh, but that takes the marksman shot out of the way. What kind of shot do we have in the floater? It's only 48% on the drone. I said floater, but it's only a drone. Um, the other option is just run and gun the hack over here and uh, take him out that way. We're looking at a light map. How many have we activated already? So we have two drones and a seeker. That is probably going to be the extent of our enemies. So I'm feeling uh, pretty confident to be able to run and gun at this point. So why don't we do that? We may even catch sight if we're lucky of the other drone. So let's uh, click on the run and gun for you, Turtle. And we'll find out if my estimations on a light mission are wrong. <laughs> Let's get up here to run and gun a drone. Okay, we have vision now. Oh, unless there... You no, know, that was the only seeker. He, he, it said he was cloaking, but instead he went on Overwatch. That little sneaky went to cloak and then uncloaked. Uh, but I now have vision on him. First thing we're going to take care of. First things first, let's boom the drone. Yeah, the damage reduction is improving on these aliens. Have you noticed the difference? Have you noticed the difference? I sure have. Um, now it looks like we're going to have to push forward to even get in range. So if we're out of range of the drone that much. I doubt we'll be triggering Overwatch by moving you forward. So let's get you forward here, Peter Van Dorn. Affirmative. And we did not, as I suspected. It's only 53% to finish the job. That's not good. Do we have? I don't think we have any other soldiers available for hollow targeting. So we're going to have to take some lower level shots on the drone. And they're hitting like lower level shots, Negative. this thing is. Um, I'm thinking we'll bring you over here, Dylan, and see if That's we can uh, do a number on that drone from you. And unfortunately, we only have, I noticed too late, your your uh, laser pistol available to try and connect with. And that's probably not going to do enough damage with that massive damage reduction he has. But it's the shot I have, so let's take it. Almost. 
Even with the hefty damage reduction, we got a great hit. We're going to have to reload here for the Rookie Man. Um, we're probably going to have to reload for Tamir just to get him. We're, gonna, we're, we're kind of low on ammo. Fortunately, my um, threat with the enemies we're facing right now does not feel as stressful. Heading there now. I'm thinking we're just going to see. I probably don't have need for that last rocket anymore. I think we're just going to place you, Arthur, on Overwatch. And uh, we do have at least the ability to lock down at long range with suppression on the drone. Anything to help reduce. Too bad this is a time where you wanted to have flush. Uh, but a really, a, a, do, I, do I go for the 48% kill? And if I miss, we're wide open? Or do I go with the suppression? Uh, I think this... I think we can lower his shot even more by the suppression. He's already red fogged is about as far as he can get. So we're going to try locking him into place. See if Bulldog can finish the job next time. Old Winston Churchill. Now the other guy comes out. He's no longer the shy drone. And we hit the ad on the top of the taxi. Good job. That's, I know that I don't like that ad. <laughs> False advertising? Oh. We got ourselves a hit over here, and he panicked. Winston Churchill, what the heck? But at least the, the suppression did the job that I was expecting. And we got the Seeker. Is he gonna? He's gonna take a firing shot on Ronaldo, and we get a hit to break the suppression. But we already did its job because that drone shot. Um, but unfortunately, we now have a panicked guy up there that we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, fortunately, that was just an armor hit there. I don't think Winston Churchill's... Yeah, Winston Churchill's, fortunately, is just an... Oh, come on, man. It was just an armor hit. What are you panicking for? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, I don't think that Seeker is going to be an easy hit. Uh, but we're going to have to try taking it here, I'm guessing. We got all sorts of options. We also have another smoke if we don't do a number. We also have suppression over here on this guy. Uh, that could be a way to lock the seeker down. But what I, what I would like to do is take care of some drone issues that we have. Because I may have to suppress the seeker to keep him from flanking us over in our positions here. In fact, that's not quite a flank at this point. Uh, maybe what we do is we bring you over here, Van Dorn, and see what kind of shots we can deliver from this point. In motion. And I'm thinking we got to go against this drone. He's the bigger threat as far as drones go. Nice hit. Want to get that damage applied, and then we have one more. Uh, we're really counting on your ammo to do the job. We got one more shot over here. Uh, with your laser pistol, Dylan. Um, of course, I'm getting you up close. We don't want you to get shot at, but I need help getting rid of these pesky little drones that are turning out to be peskier than anything. It's only 61% though to do the kill on this one. <laughs> only, I said. Ah, but look who, we got Dylan doing the job, so we're, we're in good hands. We're in good hands. Now I've got this other drone in the back, which would be nice to be able to take out. Do we have a shot? No, we don't have a shot with the marksman's rifle. At least not at this point, not quite yet. Um, I can bring you over here to get a shot, Jeffrey. Let's see if your marksman's rifle is enough to bring down that last drone. Yeah, it's a pretty good percentage. Can you finish the job for us? Then we can focus on the seeker if you do. There we go. Seeker, you are the target. You are the final target. I can always have fun with uh, the rocket, but instead we're going to bring you further, further, farther, further, farther forward. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but we got you farther forward here, Arthur Ash. 53% uh, shot. We're going to bring you a little farther forward also, Tamir. See what kind of shot we can help you out with. And uh, we are going to lay the suppression as our backup. It's my last suppression shot I have available to lock this guy down this turn. So if we don't uh, kill him this turn, we're going to have to kill him next turn because I won't have any suppression left to work with. So he's hollow targeted. That will help everyone's shot. 
Uh, I'm thinking let's try weakening him down. Well, the rookie's got his kill, so it's not like we need to get him a kill anymore. Let's see if we can... Oh, we do have... Look at that. We have one more suppression next turn if we need it from you, Tamir. Uh, you can steal one shot and still be able to do suppression just in case. Yeah. I guess you're, you're trying to miss so you get to use your suppression next turn. Is that the plan? That's not what you're supposed to do. Uh, let's fire up here 63%, see if we can do a hit on the speaker, and we do. The damage reduction numbers, I'm on a, I'm, I'm a broken record on that topic. It's really, really ramping up for us. So we're, this this uh, armor piercing is going to become a big deal and something we'll have to focus on. We may have some uh, ammo that will help in that regards. Uh, I said, let's go with you. Try and break the suppression. This time he does not succeed in it. And welcome back, Winston Churchill. We also have your run and gun available to help us out. If we need it, we can try bringing you back up here. So um, let's try getting some kills with some non-normal people or non-typical people. We can supply the hollow targeting right here with you, Jeffrey. Let's do that. Let's see if we can make this the final round. Yeah, I think we can. Everything by the numbers. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Everybody survived. Looks like all we got were uh, armor hits, I think. Let's get in here and find out. So I think this is the type of mission we needed. Now we're going to have full fatigue probably closer to four or five days, but uh, we can live with that over a wound time any day. Our troops yeah, five day fatigues around, oh, a six day and five in, day, so yeah, I sh and there is one four day fatigue. So yeah, I, I definitely need to look at that next level perk um, so we can get some more commanders, some more officers on board to help lower our fatigue. It does make a difference. So Dylan got a promotion, your name here is now promoted, and... Uh, before we promote him, if you want that soldier as yours, um, let me know. Otherwise, I'll be assigning a name on my own. We got promotions on we, nice rounds of promotions here. Badly needed promotions. We're needing to get everybody higher up on the on, on the promotion chain here. Jeffrey Goldfish Drag and Arthur Ace Ash. Got a hefty amount of corpses. Of course, we could have had five floater corpses, but I needed that early release valve with the... Uh, we were going against the Muton and had those two floaters being pesky over on our flank. Illyrium, alien alloys. Wow. We're coming, coming away with some stuff here. A nice cyber disc wreck. Okay. Happy with what we got there for this kind of a mission. Operation Dark Pier, Pyre, Pier. Remember, we <laughs> will be watching. Are both pronunciations acceptable? <laughs> uh, okay, what have we got? We've got 99 credits. Um, how much more time do we have for that satellite uplink? I'm almost feeling like uh, I may need to do a another excavation right over here real quick with some of that money for getting ready for the next level of satellites and just in case I can't launch all three I'm definitely gonna want to start focusing and building and for that officer training perk it's 200 I'm gonna have to excuse me 200 I'm gonna have to get up to um, We'll save up to it, uh, because by next mission I will have a couple medics that will be off fatigue. Um, but I'm going to want to do that promotion as sooner rather than later. Um, and are looking a lot better here. we got six hours repair left there, 15 hours transfer over there. Uh, so our, our, our air game, and then and we're probably about ready to get pounded in our air game. Our air game's looking okay. And just so you can get a peek at the barracks, Commander. 
We've suffered a we number have. of casualties. Yeah, 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 we yeah, haven't yeah, found yeah. suitable replacements yet. <laughs> we need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only have four immediately available. Obviously, we have a bunch coming off fatigue. For instance, P Vladimir Putin uh, in three hours. Uh, one day, one, uh, Tommy Pokemon Hertz is about to come off any minute. Um, so we got a lot of people who will be coming available very quickly in one, two days. And we got, uh, here's what's killing us. We got some hefty wounds that are holding us back. Uh, having Zhang out all that long hasn't been helping, but we got uh, my sniper, Andy Gibbon, who just got picked. Uh, that, that hurt because I'm not used to having snipers out for this long, and I just don't have enough snipers. Uh, double fatigued Arden will become available in one day. So we got some people coming back, but Odelia out, that's gonna hurt the Exalt game big time. Uh, no no diss on Dylan, but Odelia's movement range was that good. Okay, so there is our situation. Let's get back out there and scan the globe and see how we can move forward. A request, is it sectoid corpses? Yeah, we'll do that one. Sectoid corpses, I'm fine dispatching. Transfer we got complete. all sorts coming back. And carapace armor. We got some new carapace armor, which is badly needed with the injuries we've been taking. So that is good to see. We got another one coming up very shortly. There it is. And we're getting our alloy plating repaired very shortly, along with a new one. Uh, wow, we got a lot coming up here in another, another day. So I'm happy for the pro extra protection potential we're going to have. Contact detected. Now what have we got? A medium low. We're going to have to see and practice our scramble on a medium. So let's see who we have to send up. Now we've got Avalanche, Avalanche, Stingray. Now we do have a four kill Stingray over here. And I'm thinking I'm going to lead off with you, uh, Leathers Potter. Uh, let's go, Captain. Let's see if we can get you to do some immediate damage here, and then we can finish it up with our laser cannon, perhaps. But with four kills, I can probably afford to go on a balanced attack, I'm almost thinking, because maybe that'll help your aim enough that we can get decent hits with a balanced attack and maybe protect you a little bit on our end. So let's see if this will work. That is a strategy. Not that there's a lot you can do with the air game, but that's about as... Bangs out. Let's get ready to abort because if he does hit that, they, they can hit hard. Oh. Come on, we're getting some hits. We need more. Contact lost. All right, we did some good damage. We took a fair amount ourselves, but we've taken far worse damage before. Now it's time for a laser interceptor to get in there. Contact detected. And see if we can't finish him off. We're gonna go aggressive with you, Okamura. Give it the Midas touch and bring him down. Oh, don't fly away, don't fly away, don't fly away. Oh well. We definitely scared him off and we definitely got him hurt and injured. There's our alloy plating back. There's more. I mean, we keep that armor all coming. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, we got a terror mission in Brazil. So he has not forgotten about Brazil and their panic. Uh, the alien is going to try once and for all to take over South America. I thought maybe he was focusing, starting to focus more on Europe, but it looks like he is focusing back in Brazil. So next time, folks... In fact, let's take a quick uh, preview peek. Okay, we got, uh, people are coming back. Look at that, our barracks is active again. Our fatigue is lower. Um, we've got wound times lower on a couple more that'll be coming back in, uh, in a couple days, but we still got a hefty amount of high wounds that we, we're, we're dealing with, and that's, for, that's, what, that's what's causing things to be difficult at times and going into this spiral. Oh boy, okay. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hey, hit a subscribe button if you've been enjoying it. If you've been watching a playthrough this far through and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Help me out. And uh, 
I appreciate y'all watching, even if you don't subscribe, but I sure would appreciate a subscribe. Uh, this is Zigzag Zog signing off from Western Kentucky. You all have a great day. Thank you, my name is Matthew.